Hello everyone, welcome to Marine Chess Tips. Today I'm going to show you the game played by Sophie and Ibrahim. So the game set up with knight to f3, knight to f6, then g3, g6, bishop g2, bishop g7, castling, and castling. And at these four moves, both are having the equal position with the white knight controlling the center square and the black knight controlling the center square and the game continue white play d3 black play d5 then knight b to d2 and c6 then white continue to play e4 and bishop to g4 pinning the knight White continue to play h3 to attack the bishop. Black capture the knight, capture f3, bishop takes f3, then queens take f3, and knight b to d7, and queen to e2. Black going to play rook to e8. And here, white have a very beautiful idea of attack. White continue to play e5 to attack the knight. Then this pawn can continue to move to e6 and attack the knight and attacking the pawn. And if you capture the f7 pawn, pawn can fold the rook and attacking the king so e5 was played then knight to h5 white continue to play knight to f3 then black continue to play bishop h8 and white continue to attack using the pawn by playing e6 then knight d to f6 so if the black play by capturing the pawn then white will be having a slightly advantage for example the queen the pawn and check the king and you can bring the knight to continue to attack for example queen takes e6 check then king to g7 and knight to g5 with the idea of the queen go to f8 and checkmate with the position h7 for example if a black made example by playing a6 then you can see that queen to f7 check king to h6 and queen takes h7 checkmate so if the king move to h8 then you have the bishop to h6 and check the king so in this position the black cannot escape the check so the black need to block the check by either using the knight or bishop and if black block by using bishop bishop g7 then the knight will continue to move to knight g5 and the checkmate follow by using queen to f7 checkmate or the knight can capture the pawn at h7 and checkmate the king for example knight to knight to 
G5. Knight to G5. Then any move from the black, knight capture G3, and you have knight capture H7 checkmate. So in the actual game, after E6, black move knight D to F6. Then white continue to capture the F7 pawn, and this forcing the king to capture the pawn or to move away. And if the king move away to F8. Then the white will win the rook, win the uh, pieces. So therefore, white and the black continue to capture the pawn. King capture f7. And after this, white continue to attack the king by the knight to f5 and check the king. And after black move king to f8, then the black resign the game. And you see, from this situation, the white is winning and will meet in only 6 more. The brilliant idea of attacking will be queen to f6, as this will force the checkmate from the king. The king will have no place to move. So, if the game to continue, what will play knight the queen to e6, then the black king will try to escape to king g7 or king to h6, for example, king to g7. Then white can continue to go to queen to f7 and check the king. And after this, King have no move, only can move to King H6. Then up at here, the bishop is pinning the king. Therefore, the knight can move away to E4 or E6, and you have a discover check. So, example, if the knight move to E6. Then you have a discover check, and the knight can capture the queen. Then knight to f4, and white can continue to capture the knight and check the king. Then king to h6, and you can play bishop to f3 and check the king. So with this. The king have no place to move. So the only way to move is to block using the knight. So after knight g4, then you can have a pawn capture g4 and checkmate. Okay, with this, thank you.